This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the effect of change in enthalpy, change in entropy and temperature on the spontaneity of a chemical reaction. In the previous video, we used this equation to calculate the change in Gibbs free energy for a reaction. The change in Gibbs free energy must be negative for a spontaneous process. In this video, we look at how changes in the enthalpy, the temperature and the entropy can affect the spontaneity of a process. The change in enthalpy can be either positive for an endothermic reaction or negative for an exothermic reaction. The temperature can be either high or low and the change in entropy can be positive which is an increase in entropy or negative which is a decrease in entropy. So let's start by looking at exothermic reactions. In our first example we have negative delta H and positive delta S. At any temperature, delta G will be negative and the reaction will be spontaneous. When delta H is negative and delta S is positive, delta G will be negative at any temperature. Therefore, an exothermic reaction with an increase in entropy will be spontaneous at any temperature. In our next two examples, we have a negative delta H, so they are both exothermic reactions, and we also have a negative delta S, which is a decrease in entropy. If the temperature is low, then delta G will be negative and the reaction will be spontaneous. If the temperature is high, then delta G will be positive and the reaction will be non-spontaneous. So delta G will be negative only at low temperatures. At high temperature, the product of the temperature times the change in entropy, which is negative, makes delta G positive therefore non-spontaneous. Next we look at endothermic reactions. In our first example, delta H is positive and delta S is negative. So we have an endothermic reaction with a decrease in entropy. At any temperature, delta G will be positive and the reaction will be non-spontaneous. So when delta H is positive and delta S is negative, delta G will be positive at any temperature. An endothermic reaction with a decrease in entropy will be non-spontaneous at any temperature. In our next two examples, delta H and delta S are both positive, so we have endothermic reactions with an increase in entropy. At a high temperature, delta G will be negative and the reaction will be spontaneous. At low temperature, delta G will be positive and the reaction will be non-spontaneous. So delta G will be negative only at high temperatures when the product of the temperature times the change in entropy is greater than the change in enthalpy. At low temperatures, the change in enthalpy is greater than the product of the temperature times the change in entropy and therefore delta G will be positive. So let's end with a summary. A reaction that has a negative value for delta H and a positive value for delta S is spontaneous at any temperature. A reaction that has a negative value for delta H and a negative value for delta S is spontaneous at low temperatures only. A reaction that has a positive value for delta H and a positive value for delta S is spontaneous at high temperatures. And finally, a reaction that has a positive value for delta H and a negative value for delta S is non-spontaneous at any temperature. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.